that's all from me this morning. Back to you two. Nina, thank you so much. Thanks for your company this morning. Uh, I'm afraid the training wheels are off. Nagas no longer here. I'm on my own. Uh, she's gone to uh, read the news on Andrew Marr's programme, uh, 9 o'clock on BBC One. That's when you'll next see her. Let's link back in with what we've been talking about, whether uh, potholes can be a costly problem for motorists whose cars are damaged and for the councils who have to fix the roads. Now, the government's confirmed that councils in England will get an extra £140 million to mend roads damaged by the winter's wet weather. But is the money being pledged enough to rid our roads of those dreaded potholes? Here's what some of you think. Councils, um, they're not doing enough, and I think there's a policy today now that the holes have got to be so deep before they'll do anything. I don't know what the size of the hole's got to be, but it's got to be, I believe, a certain depth before they'll actually turn out. But, of course, it's damaging all our cars beyond belief. The road outside our house is absolutely disgusting. It's just full of potholes, and every time I go out in my car, my car, I have to drive like that, you know, to avoid all the potholes, and it's been like that for now, two years now. Generally speaking, it's not bad, but side roads are pitted yes. where we live. They're obviously where all the traffic goes, uh, but basically it's, if you like, they're not very deep, but there are lots of them, and you, you can't avoid them. You've got to drive through them or over them or down them. Yeah, some good points there. I'm now joined by Richard Hayes from the Institute of Highway Engineers and cyclist Fleur Woolley. Good morning good to morning. you both again. Thanks very much for coming back. 140 million, drop in the ocean, drop in a pothole. What do you think? 140 million amongst 150 local authorities doesn't go very far when you start to break it down. You know, one landslip, one significant piece of um, damage to the network, and that could be swallowed up by what's being made available. And, and what is the problem? What I'm surprised at, I think, is the fact that we haven't had a very cold winter, so none of the classic sort of freeze-thaw, you know, the water getting yes. in there, freezing, expanding, making bigger holes, yet we still do have a lot of them around. But we've had the wettest winter for perhaps generations. And the effect that's have upon the, the, the sub-bases, the underground, the, 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 the landline below is mm. significant. And that is, that is damaging the road structure and causing the potholes to, to be created. And Flo, we always talk about motorists when we ex uh, discuss this issue, the damage to tyres, the damage to wheels. As a cyclist, it's a, it's a whole different ballgame. It's, it's life and death. It really is. Um, and the number of potholes there are, we're really aware of them. We have the ability to use an app to, to report them. Oh, really? We wouldn't get anywhere. We would be stopping and reporting <laughs> them. Uh, five in a mile on a, a busy main road going into Bolton. And people die as a result of their injuries mm. after falling off mm. because of potholes. Are they, are they, how, do, how do you avoid them? I mean, you're travelling a little bit more slowly. You, you need to travel slower. Yeah. You, you, you ride a bike that's slower because it's got bigger tyres because you you can cope with them better. Uh, I'm beginning to ride on tracks and trails instead because they've, they're safer. They're, they've got better surfaces. So actively seeking out cycle paths, perhaps, which yeah, is not you know, away from a safer place to be anyway. Yeah, yeah OK. Um, and Richard, is, is this quite cosmetic, fixing potholes? A lot of people complain about, you know, a bit of tarmac getting dumped into a pothole as, as opposed to addressing, well, the underlying problem. Yeah, well, clearly the, the, the need is to remove the obstruction, remove the danger. That's what we're doing by filling the pothole. But what we're not doing is treating the underlying uh, structure of the road. Yes. And that really is where the investment needs to be made. Uh, there's been uh, quite the hot topic, as you can imagine, on emails and on Twitter this morning. Richard Collins is one who says the pothole repairs are awful and a waste of time, which is similar to what you were saying, Richard. Uh, the road conditions are so bad that a programme of road resurfacing is needed. Other people saying it's different problems in different parts of the country. Even the resurfacing, is that fundamental enough? It depends upon the timing of the resurfacing, because if we can do that at the right intervention level, then that can save the potential damage later on. Um, Prevention is the cure, we say, mm. as our mantra. So if you can do it early enough, which sometimes creates a little bit of public concern why we're doing that, but what we're doing is actually building in, future-proofing the network so that it's, it, it's resistant to the, the pressures of the weather. Yeah, I mean, it's a big challenge, isn't it? Yes. Huge road network. Yeah. Getting around there is going to be a real issue. And, and Fleur, you mentioned that app. I was quite interested to hear about that a couple of moments ago. But you, you're finding that it's not particularly effective? Well, it, I know of cases where 
particularly bad stretches of road have been reported in 2012 and there's still been no action. So, you know, people aren't as motivated to report them because nothing is happening. Mm. And, and, and is it sort of psychological? Are there more around? It certainly seems as if there are. I, I hit a huge one the other day. I think there are. I think we, we're, um, we're paying the price for many, many years of underinvestment. And until we can get asset, the asset managed in a more prolonged and um, economical way, then we're not going to achieve what we're trying to achieve, which is actually providing a safe and secure surface for people to ride on. OK, both. Thank you very much indeed for sharing your Sunday morning with us. A fascinating subject that I know affects anybody and everybody who uses the roads, really. So thanks for coming in. Thank you.